Hot girl living is now considered empowerment of women. I mean, just take a look at everything, y'all. Glorilla, Megan Thee Stallion. Every movie that come out, can't leave out Cardi B. The City Girls, they all females. They're all feminine, but they're all masculine, tough. And everything no man wants besides in a sexual fantasy. And what we are is embracing that and using that to level or to measure our confidence. I see so many women who use their sexuality to measure their confidence. And it's because of this whore movement that's going on. You know, just because you're dressing naked, big, skinny, small, doesn't mean you're confident. I've learned from more, the mo more women I'm talking to or the more women that I talk to, um, most of the women who dress naked, the more naked they are, the more insecure that they are. Whenever a woman, you should never put your man in a position to have to defend you because you're walking around revealing yourself. It shouldn't be a discussion of what's appropriate and not appropriate for a woman because we've already been taught these things. The thing is, this generation is trying to remove all of those standards that were set before us that our elders gave us. That's what this generation is doing. Everybody that's here on this earth still have a piece of their grandma in them that wouldn't allow this type of behavior. But grandmothers are getting younger and younger. And now grandmothers are even wanting to be sexy. To where grandmothers aren't even being grandmothers anymore because they're too sexy. It's ridiculous. And this stuff is plaguing our daughters. Sex is getting younger and younger because of this. Lace fronts, eyelashes, dressing like your mama, leggings, and all the sexual sexy outfits these little girls be wearing so that they can feel sexy. Everybody want to feel sexy. We don't realize that this is a perverted spirit upon us. This is a Jezebel spirit, a mermaid spirit, a hypersexual spirit. And the only way to be delivered from it is Jesus Christ. And, um... If you find yourself doing stuff that's always sexual for validation, twerking on the internet, dressing nakedly, showing a bunch of cleavage, showing um, short clothes, short attire, you're being a per it's a perverted spirit over you. This sensuality over sexuality is a sin. Do not be deceived. The sexually immoral will not enter the kingdom of God or inherit the kingdom of God. And their place will be taken in the lake of fire, which is a second death. You guys, God is not playing with this sensuality, sexuality, and all of this unlawful sex that's being promoted. And this women being unlawful, y'all better be careful because it's a dangerous game.